Well, hi, we're live in Houston, Texas. The text box is now working. I'm going to write, hi, live from Houston. Hey, Christopher Kent, how are you? Hey, Mike, how are you? Hey, we're live from Houston. And um, uh, Mario and I <coughs> got out, got into the YMCA just in the nick of time to swim 46 minutes before they they stood up on the lifeguard tower and both horns and said, pools, clouds, ah! And boy, I love our YMCA. What, it's, a, it's such a great deal. It's like $88 for a family membership for the three of us. And we go, we've been going every day for January. So uh, it's just, it's wonderful. So yes, I, I'm down, uh, I think I'm down, what, about six pounds? You know, that's that's a, that's a step in the right direction, right? I'm, <clears throat> my goal is to get uh, the the main thing for me. The main thing for this twenty percent, right? This this twenty minutes right here, is to feel energy, to to be more alert, and uh, of course, you know, a side benefit was would be to lose weight so I can move around better, right? But <clears throat> you know, I've always been a big guy since college, but it sure would be. Uh, it will be. It sure will be nice to be a little more flexible and a lot more energetic. That's my main goal. Health, get you know, for the blood pressure and the uh, my all the different you know triglycerides and uh, uh, blood sugar levels and and um, uh, it, you know the the uh, sugar levels and the blood blood pressure. It all is 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 helping a lot. That's how I've, I've I've seen a difference just in a month. So thank you for joining me on. The 20 minutes of drawing, which helps helps keep our minds alert and helps keep our creativity going. Plus, it's really an elixir to a more joyful life is creativity. And this 20% right here is is my personal challenge, and I'm glad you guys are joining me. Pretty cool. Hey, Roma, I got to show you. Roma, look at this. Look at this. Roma, she's our one, two, three, four, our fifth student. And if anybody signed Roma, I am so excited. Look at what we're going to cover, you guys. Look at all these, this curriculum syllabus. We're going to uh, do a, a look at a skill assessment, the science elements, Renaissance breakthrough, the thickness law, 12 focus words, the value of time. Ch look at this. We just, I don't think we're going to be able to get through all this in three hours, but I'm going to give it a, a good college effort. And uh, I had people last night say they remember this show right here, but I didn't see anybody. Anybody remember this from 1985? There's the question for you. Anybody remember Commander Mark? That was me back in 1985. This is me in 1996. We won the Emmy for that one in 1999. So um, if you if you folks, if you want to get sign up for this three-hour art immersion, and it's 11 to 2 p.m. Central Time, uh, February 22nd, Saturday. I'll, and if you sign up tonight, go, go to the website at markkissler.com. Where is my handy address? You think I would have it just ready to throw up here? Throw it up on the screen. Boom. Go to markkessler.com. Click that button right on the homepage. Say three-hour immersion. And I'll, I will write your name live. I'm going to see if anybody does it. I'll see if my phone will bleep. I would love to. I, I, I've, uh, I love being able to say, hey, I freak out live. Hi, Tracy. Look at this. Hi, Chris. Hey, Richard. David, yay! Uh, Richard Alvin. Um, okay, so let's start drawing. I got here's what we're gonna do tonight. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is something I'm, uh, my doodle. I was trying to kind of giving you guys an idea because I've talked about the different ninety nine club love. This is a chart that we're creating. Amanda's gonna help me look make this look beautiful. This is the pencil rough. This will be a page in the book. This is this is the this is. Kind of what I send to Amanda. This is what she works with, and then she does these amazing things. <clears throat> but uh, it's there's there's twelve different color levels <laughs> you see in this chart, and there's the this goes along with the karate belt, the karate bear belt merit levels, and these are all time challenges because when you time have a timer pushing you, it builds up your drawing instinct, your confidence, and your drawing enthusiasm. It's like the self perpetuating success wheel. You'll get more. 
you'll get more confident, you'll get more enthusiastic, you want to practice more, you'll get more scale, you get more confident, get more instinctual, and you just get build, build a bigger, like a big snowball. So we've worked on a few of these in the uh, weeks uh, in the past, these different orange level, green level. Well, right now we're still working on the black belt level, the black pencil level of drawing. This is like the turbo advanced level, the black belt of karate, the black pencil of drawing, the step level. So I'm going to do a variation of the step level tonight. Now we're going to do, we're going to do two variations. All right, I'm going to draw one over here. And then one on this side, okay? Make, make sure my I have some stuff underneath here. All right. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to start on this side. And I'm going to start about right here and put two dots straight across from each other. All right. I'll kind of zoom in to give you guys an idea. And, yeah, come on in. I thought I heard my son knocking, but he's, he's of course, cleaning. <clears throat> Isn't that crazy? So he, 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 he was to put a dot here and a dot below. So here's the uh, status of my mighty Mario, my son. Mighty Mario. He has, I have his own. Whenever I mention him, I'll go, Mighty Mario. I should. Ha! Ah! Here, this is this will be my, my subtle plug for my son. Uh, this is his GoFundMe title. If you want his story, go to GoFundMe and type in Mar Mar Mighty Mario's Dream. It's pretty pretty great. It's a pretty great dream. Um uh, all right, I just totally got distracted. Gee, what a shock. Um, okay, I was telling about how Mario got, we got him all prepared for work. He was all ready to go and got, you know, his great, out, you know, the uniform and he has his ID and he has his lunch pail. He's going to go for eight hours today, walks in and they had, uh, and I hadn't checked my messages because they had left a message earlier that they didn't, they were slow today. And they they were they didn't need him to come in today. A lot, him and a lot of other people. And so he walked down. He was so disappointed because he was so excited to go to work. He was so excited to go and clean movie theaters. Isn't that cool? He's so passionate. So what I'm going to do? Look, I'm going to do a step like we did last night, but I'm going to do something kind of different here. Watch this. So he comes out. <clears throat> he calls me just as I drop him off, and I'm leaving the parking lot. And he he goes, Dad, you might want to come back because they don't need me. They they they. Uh, they said that it's too slow. And I go, uh, oh, 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 no, okay. So I drove it around, came back. And you know what he said he did? He goes, hey, you know what? I'll go work at Vacuums of he was He was wanting to work. So I took him to Vacuums of America, the coolest vacuum store on the planet. And um, this is tricky, you guys. This one's This is a real tricky one because I always go back to my my first line, use that first line as your reference, okay? And then use this line. It's okay to twist and turn your paper. It's a little tricky. You got to keep keep those lines. See what I did? We're going to do this rotating step. I'm going to do six, six of these steps. Now, to get it from getting too wide, I, I have to taper this end just a bit. I'm going to turn this. Okay, so... We called up Laco at Vacuums of America in the Woodlands and in the Woodlands, Texas. And he goes, yeah, sure. We'd love to have Mario come on anytime he'd come over. So he went up there and Mario worked for five hours. He's dressed in his, in his movie theater uh, uniform <laughs> and helping repair and clean vacuums. It was He had a great day. And, of course, he wanted to buy two more vacuums. So uh, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is get him get – him, uh, used to prioritizing his wishes and get used to limiting it to uh, one piece of equipment or one item a month. So the, it, teaching about the, uh, you know, delayed gratification is, boy, that's a tough one, especially coming from me, right, Mr. Impulsiveness. So uh, he did pretty good because he really wanted to get this record. You see, he loves, he loves the, the most expensive best of the best brand which is i'm impressed good for him but goodness gracious these are this is like buying you know taking out a, a car loan <clears throat> one two three four coming up here so uh but they you know they, they last forever and he does have uh he has like 22 vacuums that are still 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 working great 
Well, he's had he's had over like thirty five, but he gives them to to people who need vacuums and stuff. Pretty endearing. All right, so here's what we're doing. See what we're doing? We're rotating. We're doing a step building. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do six steps high. So I'm trying to keep it from getting too. See, it's starting to get very steep here, which is which is okay because the lower it gets, the steeper it gets. You know, if you're doing the two point perspective, which I'll be explaining a lot more during the three hour art, the three hour art immersion. Oh, there's another plug. Go to my website, marketmarkkessler.com. 29 bucks, man. And then if you can't make it during that live, it'll be posted. The three hour art immersion will be posted for at least a month that you can watch it at your leisure. Be my one, me one, we're my welcome to our group. One, two, three, four, five. Be our sixth student, and I'll put your name in tonight. It would be great to have you guys. $29 for a wonderful experience. Plus, you get to support me and my team. Yay. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. MMD. Here he goes. I have no idea what MMD means, Christopher. You lost me on that one. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Steve. Good to see you guys. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're coming up on to the sixth step here. Sixth step. And then take a step here. One, two. Now, uh, Following these lines, see this? Following these lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Very, very cool. Love it. Now, this step right here, th this building right here is what I learned when I was in like third and fourth grade from one of my favorite art teachers of all time when I was in elementary and junior high, Bruce McIntyre from Crosby, California. Now, he... He did this level right here, and he was the first one that started these timed tests. And I don't, I can't remember. It's like two minutes. He called this a, the Jimmy Yada Club. He had this club idea of doing the clubs, and I just I love it, love it. And I just took to it like a duck on the water. And that it has evolved into adapting the colors from the karate merit level and then the time levels have it doing a whole bunch of sub levels within the levels so you know that's just a testament to how we always stand on the shoulders of our teachers who stood on the shoulders of their teachers and their teachers back generation after generation so thank you to my all my art teachers especially to bruce mcintyre his legacy lives on with his thousands of students that learned from him at carlsbad California back in the 19 in the 60s and 70s okay one one two three four five six so what we're going to do here what we're going to do here is we're going to take this wonderful building shape just it's so great and now we're going to do it again on this side but we're going to do something different but let's go ahead and shade it let's shade. let's put the sun on the left this is just a really great this is a really really great um start right but then now what i'll do is i'm going to do an enhancement level and this is actually going to be one of the drawings in my book okay this will be one of the drawings in that you can draw in 30 seconds this will be the the chart and each of these each of these will be a separate lesson in the book it's going to be a 220 page book it should be should be done and ready to ship within about six weeks we're we're uh, doing these, the, these, some of these for the next couple weeks. Uh, every night I'll be doing drawings that are, will be actually the drawings used to illustrate different points and ideas in this book. I think I'm more excited about this book than I have, uh, and, I, and I love writing uh, You Can Draw in 30 Days. And I love drawing um, the, uh, this was a, see some books are really fun and some books are a little tougher for me this one was a very fun book took forever but this one was a drawing 3d with uh, simon and schuster in it oh it took me it took me so long it was going to be a thousand pages a thousand neat things and i and i at 333 i said enough's enough and i sent it to the publisher this was a really fun book and i really did i really enjoyed this one this one was a fun this took about three years to, to finish but this little book right here well <clears throat> this one's taken me about a year and a half 
to get to this point, and it's we're about I'm about six months behind when I. Uh, oh yeah, we got over the million mark. It's pretty cool. So you were five hundred thousand when this one. Look at that. It's over a million now. Isn't that cool? Yay me! Um, so this is you know, and this this book right here will be part of our special offer. I know you are you are wondering what is today's ninety nine dollars special. Today's ninety nine dollars special is if you go to my my website, which is markkissler.com, you click that ninety nine dollar this logo right here. Uh, mention the date to the day today, which is day number. Uh oh. Uh oh. I want to write it here. I've got to write it here. What is it? Day thirty two? Is that right? I'm guessing. Someone text me, would you? We're 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 past. It is. It's day thirty two. Awesome. So. Let's see here. Day, uh, I got to put my little grid down here at the bottom, right? So it's day 32. So January, February, it's Feb 1, 2020. And that means that we've drawn for 29 days. We missed three, or I have. And we've, Mario and I have swam and exercised 25 days and we missed seven. Thus, we're using that key. The very, very important key uh, of our whole expedition, which is to not stress out. Stress is on the bus. Right here it is. I got to keep this handy. Remember, no stress. The 20%, the key of our success is beep, beep, 20. All right. So now, here's what we want to do. I'm going to take this. I'll show you a sneak peek. This was my scribble. Can you guys see that? This We're going to draw that right now. Isn't that cool? I hope you guys are drawing with me. This is a great practice. This is, of course, this is level nine. So we're kind of jumping around the book quite a bit. But I, I hope you at least find it fascinating. If you can't draw it um, right with me, then just watch it. And you can watch it later. Fun thing about Facebook is you can watch these over and over and over again, okay? Uh, hi, Stu Powell. How are you? Hi, Don Reynolds. Hi. Hello, Eugene. Hi, Beth. Hi, Nancy Hayward. How are you? Nancy Hayward, the mother of my BFF, my dear, dear friend. Um, I tell you, uh, Jonathan Hayward. Hey, <clears throat> Nancy, I just read or I just saw a, a note from Whitney. Is he, this this month? Is he actually getting married? Our little baby? Our little Whitney? I knew Whitney when he was like three years old and he grew up and his father used to come up and hang out with me in Santa Barbara and bring Whitney, little Whitney, and we'd ride bikes and Whitney would be in his little, his little, uh, uh, you know, cart that, you know, pull behind bikes. It was so cool. I can't believe it. So I, I sent Wendy a note. I'm really bad at my Facebook messages, by the way. So if you send me Facebook messages, thank you for your patience, but really the best way to get Communicate with emails, mark at markkissler.com. I do like the Facebook messages. I just, I forget to check it. I'm forgetful. So, uh, Nancy, please, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, please extend to Whitney my congratulations. And I'll be talking to Jonathan, I'm sure, this week. And, uh, boy, it sure would be cool if I can get out there for the wedding. He said in his note that uh, from a month old that he's invited me out to the wedding. And, Boy, what a sweet offer. Thank you so much. I would love to come out. Let's draw the four short and square. I just can't believe it. He was, last time I remember, you know, he was just like 12. And then, then he was like 19. And you, know, you guys, it's crazy. Um, I wish him and his fiance the, a lifetime of happiness and joy and uh cooperation and creativity and mischievousness I just wish them all that okay now look I'm gonna draw it lightly again but this time we're gonna add a lot of extras so so go ahead and just lightly lightly like we're gonna add lots of extras we're doing a variation here see so you, I'm just I'm not gonna draw it dark at first I'm gonna draw it real light I'm gonna draw it really light and okay I'm, I'm slanting it quite a bit because it's getting a little bit wide 
I don't know if I'll have the right. See, I'm keep looking up here at the angle. I think I might I might have to stop it short because I don't know if I have room. But let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We just need one more. Can we get one more step in here? Let's see if we can get one more. I think we can get one more. Let's see. Yeah, we we got it. We got it. All right, six steps. All right. We had, to, we had to slant it in, but that's cool. This one's like totally slanted. Awesome. Now, well, now we're going to add some extras, all right? You guys ready? This one maybe is a bit too much slanted. So looking for my eraser, you know, once again, I have I have like a thousand erasers, and once again, they're, I'm down to two. <laughs> And then I, and under my breath, I'm going, oh, those darn kids, and then I'll find it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to think that my kids took it again. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right. Draw the – there. I didn't want to slant it too much. Do you guys like it? Are you with me? Give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a yay. That's good. Uh, what did I miss? Weird stairs. Yep, we'll call them weird stairs. And you can – and, Maureen, you can. Hey, Kathleen McPerry, how are you, my Oceanside – my Oceanside friend, Kathleen, Kathleen's uh, older sister, Mary Ann, was my high school crush for years. And I, I think it was, it was, it must have been 30 years after high school when I finally told her when I saw her. And she's got the coolest husband and kids. And But, you know, you never get over your high school crush. Well, I, I go up like it's a big secret to tell me, you know, Mary Ann. You know, I always had it. my high school boy. I had a crush on you, and she goes, "Oh, I knew. Everybody knew." Ah! <laughs> oh, that was funny. It was very funny. And then uh, and now, Mary and Kathleen's brother, Robert, is a very good friend of mine. He and I were uh, just great, great friends during our swim team and water polo years at the El Camino High School. I haven't seen Robert forever. Hey. Uh, Kathleen, how's Robert Murlock doing? How's your mom doing? How's Mama Murlock doing? How's your brother doing? Is he still in Utah? Is Mike still in Utah? That's so great. I haven't, Kathleen, I haven't seen you guys in 10 years. They're too long. Next time I'm out in California, we got to have dinner at Mama Murlock's. All right, so let's put a doorway here. Okay, so this, the whole point of this, the whole point of this is to, uh, Add extras to keep embellishing, 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 right? All right, so I'm going to put it, I'm going to draw like a little bird. Now, this is not a, a cannon. This is a bird perch, okay? It's not a cannon. Uh, I'm drawing a bird thing here. That's a bird perch. Okay, now over here. Okay, so now here's the here's the thickness law. The thickness law is if the door's on the right side, the the... And then I'm going to extend the back. See, I did a little haul back there. Isn't that cool? Do you guys love it? So I'm just adding little extras and uh, just wonderful, brilliant, billions of brilliant ideas. And right here, watch this. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a ramp right here. I'm going to draw the ramp. Doors and ramps and pipes and tubes. And then right here, I'm going to put a window. And here's the window. Remember the thickness law, the thickness law. If the window's on the left side, the thickness is on the left side over there. And you can draw like little guys looking out the window. And I think I'll go ahead and darken that in. And so this will be a good one. Now, this one is going to be in the book. We're going to put this one in the book. So you've seen it made live. Again, this is the, if you guys like this drawing, this is the $99 special. Boom, you get that, this one. And you know what? I'm, just as I've been doing the past couple nights is, uh, if I can find it, I need to keep myself more organized. With the, But that, that's, that is just not ever going to happen. So, All right, so if you guys want this, the drawing, the, you get the original pencil drawing, and you get the, uh, an autographed copy of You Can Draw in 30-second book. Bam! All right, I'll make. I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll even sweeten it. You tell me one of the, what character you like, and then I draw one of my characters, and I'll draw it on the inside of the book, like this one. It's one of the. This was our uh, January, our twenty fifth day. I do inside the book. All right, so there's your offer today. 
I got to write that down. Okay, so here's our offer. So I don't forget it. The offer is you get um, the 30 second buck, the brand new one will be out in six weeks. We hope about that. I'll draw a picture on the inside and you get our live drawing from day number 32. Look at that. How could you resist that wonderful Kathleen? Hey, Kathleen, tell me how your brother's doing, my brothers, and tell me how Marianne's doing. Uh, I remember seeing Steve and Bob Ross painting on, on his show. I wonder if Steve still paints like his father. He's so amazing. Who? Richard, I'm not sure. I lost the conversation some here. I, I lost. Uh, oh. Is Steve Ross still doing painting like his father, who was so good? Oh, oh, I, I, uh, I have, I don't have the answer for that, but that's a neat, neat thing that he, he did go on his father's show, and appear a couple times. That was really cool. Kind of reminds me of what I'm, what Mario does with our live, huh? I'm waiting for him to come in and want to draw a lawnmower. I said next time he comes in, he can draw a lawnmower. I know you guys would love to draw a lawnmower with Mighty Mario. That would be a special way to spend our Saturday evenings, Saturday night live. All right. So I'm drawing this. Now, it's, it's kind of hard to keep it all. It's okay if it looks rickety, crickety. It's okay. It's all right. It does not have to be perfect. Don't stress. Perfection is on the bus. See that? Stress is on the bus. Beep, beep. Bye-bye, stress. Bye-bye, stress. Draw the four shorts in circle. Do you guys like this drawing? Is anybody drawing? Hey, and would you do me a favor? Will you send me your pictures of this? I'll put your pictures in the book. How's that? You guys uh, send me my coffee. All right. I have to admit, I went to half calf. I was I was going no caffeine for a long time, but <laughs> uh, I went to half calf. Uh, but I still feel better. Not as jittery. All right. Now. All right. So there's the, there, I'm darkening it in. Now I want to put more details, more extras over here. I'm going to put like a four short and circle around the side here. A little, a little, uh, this could be like a storage bin or a, uh, some kind of a container. And this is a good spot. You know what? I'm going to put this going into a hole. I'm going to draw a hole right here. That's kind of a cool idea. I don't have that going into a hole. And you erase that. Make it more. And I want to fix that hole. Make it more of a pronounced hole. And I love that. That's cool. All right. So, and then I think right here. I'll draw, see, I draw the vertical lines and draw the door. You know what this reminds me of? <clears throat> this, 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 we're adding so many extras. Remember when I, did I show you guys this one I did? I don't know if you guys saw this, this drawing I did here. See if I can find it. Where is it? Yeah, let me find it. It's a good one. Where is it? Where is that drawing I want to find? I'm looking for it. Well, I got discombobulated today when I was working on my, my book. And so, of course, I can't find it when I want to show you. Well, can't find it. Um, what's another option? Let me see. Maybe it's, oh, here it is, but it's a smaller version. I was going to try to show you this one, but I'll, sh I'll, I'll see the doors and the ramps on this. Of course, now it's obvious. Oh, what a promotion, which you can get one of these. But look at this. Isn't this cool? See all this? Look at the name and stuff here. Isn't that fun? I love that. This, you know what? Um, these are three ninety nine to five ninety nine online. If you want to get one of these tonight, um, I'll write down this. This could be an, an, another one. If you want to say that for a ninety nine dollars special, 
I'll do a commission for you for 99. I'll write that down. That's offer. What is it? Offer um day 32B. Ha! Ah! Day 32B is I'll do a pencil commission of your name. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. So tonight we have two offers. Go well, actually three. We're just going to get all kinds of support for our endeavors for summer camps and school visits and uh, children's hospital visits. If you guys have a know of a children's hospital in uh, Seattle, Washington, when I go to C2E2, I'm sorry, when I go to Emerald City, if you know of a, a program director or a nursing director, or the administrator in a, a Chicago area children's hospital, please uh, have them invite me to come and visit the children. I love to do it. It's always best if I have you, my supporters, contact the hospital and get them to invite me. I would love, love, love to. I was just looking at my wall where I have two of the guest uh, uh, vests, the guest covers. Um, from the, uh, when I was in Dubai, I went to the Al Jalia Children's Specialty Hospital, and uh, it was just a wonderful experience. And when I was in India, I visited several children's hospitals, just wonderful. The point is to try to um, go and draw pictures with the kids and just hang out and joke and giggle and share some some creativity and give them a, just a few moments of uh, distraction from their uh, blood therapy, uh, you know, hours and hours of blood transfusions and um, their uh, treatments for their cancer or whatever their um, program is. The whole thing is just to give a little relief, a little humor relief, a little joy relief with the power of creativity. And the parents too, the parents and the brothers and sisters, they would come and sit and draw. So what I do, what I like at the children's hospital in um, – in uh, Minneapolis, I, I was in the big auditorium, and they were all they were going to bring all the kids from their rooms down to the auditorium for a special uh, program where I was going to draw with be, a big giant screen behind me and project it was going to be it was just so awesome. But they had a um, a really bad uh, flu outbreak, and these kids are so vulnerable that they 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 couldn't uh, bring them out of the rooms, and so. I was, I sat there in this amazing, huge, uh, state-of-the-art presentation auditorium, and we went, we closed cctv it into all the kids' rooms. So I was by myself, well, well, the administrator was there, bless her, and so she and I were the only ones in this giant auditorium at Minneapolis Children's Hospital. It was just so cool, and uh, I did the whole hour program, but it was just to be, to, uh, to our coordinator there and and the kids and the kids enjoyed it had fun that was wonderful and i sure got a kick out of it i'm gonna draw like a little uh, and i'm gonna put uh, now watch this on this one i'm gonna cut out i'm gonna pop out see so you can cut in or you can pop out just to show you the difference see that Isn't that fun And then right here, it's a good, you know what? I'm sure having fun with this. I don't know if you guys are drawing with me. Is anybody drawing with me here? I uh, did a few nights ago. Hey, Richard. Uh, yeah, and Mar yeah, drawing with Mar Mario, Christopher. Uh, oh, Christopher's drawing. I wanted Christopher, send me a picture on uh, my email or Facebook post it, okay? Uh, me, I'm drawing Marie. Thank you. Uh, mine is, let me see here, hold on, mine is very quick, very rickety. I love it, I love it being rickety, Don. Kelly, hi, Kelly. I love it being rickety. Just rickety, rickety is cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, stress is on the bus. Beep, 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 stress is on the bus. Drawing is fun. It's motivating. It's inspiring. Don't get hung up on being precise, exact. Don't worry about it. Give yourself that grace. Here, we're giving ourselves 20% grace to miss a day of exercise or miss a day of drawing. Well, give yourself the grace to, the license to fail. 
fail big, right? Go big or go home. You know, it's you have to. You, in, in order to succeed, you have to fail. It's it's, in, it's unavoidable. But I teach my kids over and over and over again. They're still devastated with the with little failures, but I keep on telling them that that's the, they're just that much closer to succeeding on that goal or that project or that job interview. All right. So I'm liking this one. I'm liking it. And it's okay to be rickety. Look at mine doesn't fit right here. Mine doesn't match up at all. I'm going to try to fix it, but it looks like I might be stuck with it because it's so dark. And I think what I'll do on this down here is, um, oh, I'm going to put another, I'm going to put a, a pipe right here. I'm going to put a another one of these posts for the birds. This is for a bird perch, All right? Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put another one. Maybe I'll put another one right here. Maybe I'll put three in a row. See, I'm going to line them up. Maybe I'll put three in a row. So I'll draw another perch and another perch. Do you guys like it? This is great. I'm getting two things done at the same time. I'm doing a, a cool drawing, and it's also going to be a drawing in the book. Isn't that fun? Hey, Jeff, how are you? Jeff Wozniak, good to see you. Uh, Marine says she'll take a picture and said, unfortunately, I have only a small line notebooks. Oh, no, no worries. No apologies. Just send it proudly that you drew it. Proud that you drew it. Just send it in. No apologies. I love it. What's something that I work on all the time is to not apologize for my art or my ideas or my lessons I'm trying to teach the kids. You know, be confident in your heart and in your creativity. Okay, curve this. I'm going to draw the four short and circle. I guess it's, the, the point is be true to you. Be true to your heart. All right. So I'm going to fix that thickness. And, of course, I love, I'm going to put two little guys in that. All right, there we go. Uh, now I'm, I'm looking up here. What else do I want to add? I'm going to add some more stairs since this is a stair lesson. So I'm going to add, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Ooh, I got a great idea. I'm going to do stairs. Here, I'm going to do a bunch of stairs. Watch this. I'm going to do these stairs coming down here. This is going to be really cool. And then the stair comes down here. And I don't know if I have room down here at the bottom. I guess I can squeeze it in. Yeah, I'll squeeze it in. And then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to angle it up. And I'm going to draw these the stairs. Okay, this is going to be cool. It's a little mine's rickety here, but it's all right. No apologies. No apologies. All right, it's rickety. Cool. I meant it. I meant it to be rickety. That's what I, I intended for. It's part of the story, part of the narrative. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not it just I'm not going to apologize, but I will erase and fix it. How's that? And I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that edge. All right, that looks cool. Do you see what I did? I saddled it and that this gives us another area here to draw. Look at this. We can draw the ramp over here. How's this? How's that? I gotta make that ramp a little steeper. I gotta match the ramp. Well, if I'm gonna, you know what? It's not gonna fit like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to figure this out. I hope I'm on it. Look at it. Um, let me see. Do you need more text messages? I, I guess you guys are busy drawing. I, you're still with me. I haven't lost too many of you guys. Uh, always proud. That's wonderful. I usually 